today's exercise is going to be a lateral exercise in which we work on getting your horse responsive to our leg and rein on a circle, moving sideways and forward. Now, at the end of the exercise, stay tuned because we're going to do something kind of fun, but that's uh, to be continued. As I'm moving around this circle, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving my horse in and out. And I'm moving in and out around these cones. In this instance, I'm actually maintaining left flexion and left bend as I'm doing this. Now, an alternative to moving them in and out would be counter flexing, which would look like this. I go into right flexion and I move him in. And then I ride straight for a couple steps and then I'm going into left flexion and moving him out. I'm asking and releasing with my leg and rein. And my, I'm exaggerating it a little bit here so that you're able to see. But I'm asking and releasing as I'm going through. So I ask, release, ask, release, ask, release. At the walk, there's a bit of a timing. And actually, let me go straight towards the camera so you can watch this. So, as he's walking towards the camera, and I'm going to exaggerate, but do you see how his rib cage is swinging? Now again, I'm exaggerating. When I want him to go that way, I just swing the ribs over that direction. It's within the movement. The trot is a little bit easier. You can just ask and release because it's 50-50. And the canter, we do it on the up. And I'll demonstrate that in a little while. But there's the idea of asking and releasing in that moment to get them to move over. And if we're in time with their feet, it feels so much lighter. So it'll make a big difference for you if you think about asking and releasing and it's swaying that pendulum. So I swing it over, over. And I don't know if you can see that. And then when I go this way, I swing it over, over. So as I'm going along, I'm going to minimize that now. But as I'm going along, know that that's what I'm doing. I'm asking and releasing. Now, the easier way to do this exercise is where we go counter flexion, move them in, and then inside flexion and move them out. I'm going to demonstrate the more difficult way, which is going to be maintaining the, in this instance, I'm maintaining right flexion and I'm moving him out with the right flexion as well as in with the right flexion. When I'm moving them laterally, Oftentimes, a good visualization for me is thinking about opening doors and closing doors. So as I swing him over, I, and I actually counterflex there, I'm going to open doors this way. And then I close those doors and I open the doors over here. And again, I'm exaggerating. As we, as we ride, we learn through exaggeration sometimes, and especially when watching, it's helpful. And as you ride, you might do it initially where you exaggerate, make it obvious for your horse and get that brain body connection for yourself. So you know how to move your body when you're doing this. And then you just start thinking about how little can I do? And you make it less and less and less. So that's this exercise just at a walk. Now a variation you could do at the walk, which is kind of fun, is you might decide to do it with the cone in between something a little trickier, right? So that would be making it a bit more difficult, but maybe a little more fun for you and your horse because it's building in that awareness of their feet and where they're at. 